Hello beautiful souls, this is Myra with Happy So Happy Live. Namaste. So hello, 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 right? But I wanted to tell you guys, because I was an outsider too. You know, I really didn't fit in. Mm, you know, say my mama loved me so much. <laughs> but like in school, you know, where we lived, um, you know, I, there was, I never felt like I belong there, right? Like I had my friends, you know, they were very nice, but it was like, it felt like if I was out of place, I was always the oddball of all of, you know, of the group, right? Um, and, you know, that really didn't seem to bother me, you know, but it was like, how come I couldn't be the cool kid, right? Um, but I, I mean, I would talk to everybody, but I was not, um, I was very shy, right? Uh, very conservative, right? Just kept to myself. Um, I was one of those people that if you talk to me, then I'll talk to you. Um, but, you know, it just, you know, I'm not how I am right now, right? Um, I always considered myself like the ugly duckling. <laughs> well, how does this ugly duckling look, right? <laughs> um, but I want you guys to know that if you don't fit in, say, like, when it comes to your family and you're, like, the oddball, right? They really don't pay attention to you. Um, you know, know that you are loved and that you are very special and there is nothing to change about you. And what this message is about is for you to know that to be in the place of I am unique in my own very special way and this is my time to shine to be out there and you know I'm going to tell you about one of my hobbies that I um, had started with my spiritual awakening and it was picking up rocks, right? I don't know. It was just fascinating how different they look. Um, and people might, you know, look at you and look like, she picks rocks. Uh, yes. It's something that, you know, draws your attention. You're out with nature. You're connecting with nature. You're connecting with self. You're connecting with your inner child. Um, so I ask you, what is it that you would do when you were a child, right? And do that. If it was, I remember that I like playing out in mud. Okay. Do a water puddle. <laughs> <laughs> and start playing in the mud and you know I did that with my little son um, and oh my god was the mud fun yes but you know encouragement comes within and I want you to know that that there's nothing to change about you for me, what I did was know my self-truth, right? Bring out that uniqueness out in me. If you look at my different, at my beginning of my videos, I was, you know, you can't go based on a script, you know, and when you feel that, oh my God, what people are going to say, what people are going to do. Uh, know that there's no, no shame on how you are. 
because that's what makes you you, right? And you have to, if you see, you know, something in you, bring it out. You know, for me, I always thought of myself funny and um, I like to sing. And for a lot of people that I talk to, and that's not many because I'm starting to, okay? <laughs> but I am. I am. I'm, I'm funny. But it's bringing out that playfulness that I have and show you and show the world um, that, you know, he he, I am a comedian. I am funny, right? And singing. I always like to sing. I never... Um, I did it. I did the karaoke once just to prove to myself and to be out of that fear that, hey, I did it. <laughs> and, you know, because, you know, with my media family, it's like, no, you do not sing well. And I'm like, eh. Well, I have my Divine Masculine, and my Divine Masculine says that I sing really, really, really good, really pretty. But I just think that it was because he's my Divine Masculine. But either way, that's something that I really like. I like to sing, and, you know, I would like to show that out, too. I mean, there's a lot of things that you like to do, and this other message is, What's stopping you, right? The message is, what's stopping you? You know, you like to, you like to venture out, right? And that's what I, venturing out to different experience things that you only thought that they were just dreams. But know that your dreams can come reality, and that's what I am seeing. You know, when I came into this spiritual journey. Um, I was still stuck in the 3D, right? The programming, the 3D matrix, the mentality, right? And for me, it felt like I had no other choice than to have the have faith that wherever <laughs> have faith in this journey, and the and there it is, right? Um. But with the more that I am in my journey and the more that I experience, you know, in myself, right, and be bold and fearless and um, just really going out there, like crossing the fence <laughs> and running, um, I sometimes think that the Lord, the Creator, our Divine Source, did this beautiful, beautiful transformation, you know, um, on how things are happening. And not only just with me, but with the world. It's like, oh my God, my Lord, you are speaking to me. You are my you did all this for me i am so honored i'm so i i can only be grateful for everything that you have given to me right and because he it, it he puts it in a way of he is reaching out to you and calling you and knowing like you are special understand that you are special and i know you had some tough lessons like when before my spiritual awakening you know my um how i knew my creator was um was just by one name and it was if i needed anything you know uh if i was in a um in a crisis or wanted something to go well, you know, that's when I would call him. Um, and that was it. That was it. 
I mean, I didn't go to church. I didn't, um, I didn't know about things um, until my spirituality. And see, now that I, you know, I, I think about things, right? And if you look at like my Instagram, um, like earlier before my spiritual awakening, because you can see <laughs> when I started my spiritual awakening. But even back then, I would have like little things that would be drawn to me. And I had no clue because I really was not in that mentality. I was not even thinking of it. Um, I think I was just like me, 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 right? But in a me, me, selfish type of way, right? Um, but I was considered, as, for myself, I was considered a free spirit. Um, you know, I just experience all i love the change um i did go into the dark night of the soul and i did not like change and i did not like it and um and then boom my spiritual awakening uh to the divine source to the universe and so i want to tell you that you made see our creator our divine source as something but when you enter this spiritual awakening when you enter to all of the mysteries of the universe you know he is so he is such an abundant of joy he is He is everything. And I remember one time uh, I was starting my spiritual awakening and um, there was a YouTube video that I saw and I'm going to try to look for it and link it in there as well as there's an inspirational video um, like what we need to hear um, about somebody um, that I as well listen to and I'll put that as well because it's something that it feels good and you know if you are feeling like you know what I'm just I'm just the ugly duckling it's like no 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 baby you're not the ugly duckling don't see yourself as the ugly duckling you have a lot of things that you can um you know without you you know there wouldn't be a lot of things, right? So know that you are important, that you do mean, you are, um, you have meaning here, right? You might not know it right now, but you do. And this journey is all about that. It's about you finding your gift within yourself and among a lot of beautiful gifts that you have right but in this um, YouTube video uh, that I saw it was it talks about um, you know the divine creator right and at one it showed at one time that it said I've been waiting for you <laughs> I never close the doors on you. I've been waiting for you. And, you know, that person that you turn your back on, that was me. <laughs> that was me. But know that I am here and I see you right it goes more in depth but right there it really did tear me up because i remember a crucial time in my life that i had to i guess it was a fork on the road for me and i could have 
gone one way and I went the other. And, you know, would, whichever way you go, whichever way you go, there's, you already made um, lessons and cycles wherever you go. So there's no wrong choice. It's all about experiences. It's about the journey itself. And when you do this journey, it is something that's gonna just blow your mind and it's gonna be something that you just, wow, didn't know that you had it in you. You know, it just feels really, really good. Um, and don't worry. When these emotions come up, because they will come up, fill them out. Talk to yourself. People might say that's weird. I don't care. You talk to yourself. Talk to yourself because that's the only way that you, because you are the one that you need that approval on, okay? Not anybody else. Because it's first, it's about you. You have to get your, you have to have that self-love, you have to have that self-worth, that self-value, that, um, that empowerment know that you self trust self trust is one of the things that you have to bring back you have to bring that back your power and once you do then you can really understand and you will not be brought down by other negative Patterns, negative attachments, they will flourish. They would want to come back. But don't get scared. Because once you are open to the mysteries of the universe, then you, you can't go back. It's just, it's not... It's just not... It's just not. It's just not. Um, you know, and the thing that keeps you stagnant and keeps you in, you know, in that place is fear and doubt. And for me right now, I'm in my in the place of just... I feel like my inner child. I feel like my inner child. I want to experience everything. And with this journey itself, the spiritual journey of self-discovery, it really, our divine creator, really gives us inspiration that you can do anything, anything you wish for, anything you dream of, you can make it happen. And I have experienced things that I usually wouldn't have, wouldn't have even um, dared to do. But hey, you know, I'm totally, if you see, I'm totally different. And, um, you know, it just made every, it just made me a lot stronger. And it's about, being you, loving the person that you are, and being true to you. That's really what it is. It's being true to yourself and being happy with yourself. And if you're not really happy with yourself, then you have to really look inside and say, okay, what is going on? Why do you not why do I not feel happy? And like I said, this is the journey of self-discovery. So you, this is, it's, it's not, 
a short-term journey. I am still embarking on this beautiful journey, and every, you know, every face is very different. There's millions of faces. I don't know. I haven't even gotten into the million faces, but there's faces. There's ascensions. There, <laughs> there's level ups. But it's very beautiful when you open yourself to this beautiful opportunity to say, you know what? Yes. 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 And that's, I didn't really didn't know how this was going to come up, but I'm glad it did. So, you guys, I hope you enjoyed it. I really did. And just remember that you are special. And if you can only understand yourself if you really try to open up, right? Open up to the opportunities of self-love, self-teaching, self-knowledge, self-wisdom. Ultimately, it's all about that. You know, we have the spiritual team. And if you can see them, they would be in the back. <laughs> and, um, ooh, I like it. I got chills. But, yes, they're here. So just call on them. Call on the creator. Call on your divine source. But you have always had your spirit team and your spirit guides with you at all times. And so this is the opportunity for it. So thank you, guys. Namaste. Have a blessed day. Thank you. Bye.